Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to clean the inside of your Airstream. There's not a lot of videos out there to show you what to do, how to clean it so you can take care of all of the materials. So I'm going to show you how I clean our Airstream. Let's go. So these are some of the things that I use to clean the inside of the Airstream. There's actually not a lot of videos online showing you how to clean the inside, so I had to do a lot of research to figure out what's safe to use on all of these different materials that won't damage it over time. Here are a couple of things that we recommend that you use. So first is Pledge, and this is to clean basically all the surfaces. You can use this on you know, the outside of the cabinetry, you can use this on the upholstery, you can use this just about anywhere to clean the surface and it'll leave a nice clean look and it also has um, antibacterial properties to it. To clean the kitchen surfaces, I like to use um, an organic or baby safe type of multi-surface cleaner. So this is um, Baby Ganics. I got this at Target. That means it's safe enough to use probably on your Airstream. So I'll use this typically to clean the stove, the kitchen counter, and even the surfaces in the bathroom. To clean the shower, I use a little bit more of a, a heavy duty cleaning supply, again, because it's the bathroom, but you have to be careful not to let it go down your pipes because that can do damage to your pipes. So sometimes I will do you know, a soft sponge and some uh, dishwashing soap to clean the walls, but if you have a lot of soap scum, you could use something like this. This is scrubbing bubbles. This one does have bleach, so if you do use it, I recommend you spray on, you scrub, and you can get a small, you know, soft, this is a Scotch-Brite scrubber to scrub the insides gently and then wipe it down. I would not rinse it too much because then again, that stuff goes down to your pipes and that can do damage long-term to your piping system. But um, if you just spray a little bit of this inside um, and just do a dry wipe cloth afterward, it should be fine. To clean the floors, usually I will take a broom and I will sweep and then I will follow up with a Swiffer mop and pad. And this is great because it helps you to uh, clean directly on the floor, doesn't get it too wet, and then you can just dispose of these when you're done. One thing to note, you want to use non-abrasive cloths. So this, these are very soft like microfiber towels, um, and this works well so that you're not scratching any of the surfaces. Um, you can also get, you know, this is the Swiffer, it's a duster, it says safe on wood and all finished floors. Um, this is more for the floor, but you can take this out of its packaging and then use it to clean some of your surfaces and not damage them. You'll notice that we took out the bed. It makes it a little bit easier for me to clean. So I can get on top of the bed and I can clean up here, all the areas, including the ceiling. Again, I'm cleaning this all with Pledge Clean It. So you have to take care of the inside of your airstream. It's really important to keep it clean. We try to clean it before every trip, before we go out, and it's something that's part of our routine. So let us know. How do you clean the inside of your Airstream? What sort of products do you use? Are we missing anything? Do you have any tips or tricks for us? Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.